Hello, Vikrant here, and we have a very special guest with us today. Oh my God, no! <laughs> called Yana. Star we are both students of RWTH Arkan, and our course was called Computer Data <laughs> Conception and Production in Mechanical Engineering. That's the course. Yeah. <laughs> FOS, Failures of Structural and Structural Elements. Basically, fracture mechanics. And uh, this is a really what? interesting, easy, easy, and really useful subject. If you get research uh, into the subject, don't underestimate it because it's a very wide topic. No, she uh, has been warning you not to underestimate a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> well, where I think it should be. Yeah, yes. exactly. Uh, so, as a subject, to get grades, it's not really hard. If you want to go ahead in life and do something with fracture mechanics, you there's a lot of material on the hard, subject. Uh, hard and, life. <laughs> yeah. And, Depending on materials, uh, there's so much material there. But yeah, definitely an interesting subject. Machine design process and practical applications of computer aided engineering tools. Basically, Again, is a CAD subject. You learn how to design things better, you learn how to view 2D, 3D, basic once again, and then you learn ProE, which is a Good design tool I still prefer. I would ones. suggest this subject for those who want to go into production also because uh, I feel like the CAD part and the design part is more into the manufacturing. That's true uh, but I, uh, uh, I got my first internship through knowledge of this subject so it, it helps you get into internships especially in the design field and in the production field. So definitely not the hardest subjects. The grades are not really ever very high for anyone but the subject is easy enough to understand. Another of my electives, model, modeling, model reduction and simulation in laser processing one. That was basically lasers, what we called. And lasers one and two both were my electives. Once again, I did that because I wanted to do that. And a lot of other students because it's very interesting to get to know the basics of physics so technically it's lasers but most of the times you're talking about how physics work and how physics of light specifically works and what is the minimum radius that you can focus a light to and how far you can what intensity based on Planck constant so it, it, it's really interesting theoretical basic physics and the exam is also uh, you talk to the professor, an interview sort oral. of, <laughs> an oral exam. The exam is an oral exam. <laughs> if you listen to the professor in the class, you can basically answer everything. You don't really need to study a lot. Practical introduction to FEM software. So this is where you learn ANSYS and uh, not the DUI, but the script. The form. ANSYS, APDM. APDM, exactly. Which comes very useful. It came for me. I got my master thesis because uh, I knew APDL. I got my intent, my mini thesis through APDL, and because of that, I got my uh, master thesis. Or the uh, at the end, we basically changed it from completely from ANSYS to Abacus. But at least the interview was interested in knowing that I scripted in APDL. Yeah. And now also in my job, basically, uh, uh, sometimes I need to use APDL. It's much more used, at least in the nuclear industry, than answers workbenches yeah and um, so for people who have never ha been in touch with answers like I was before this before this course it's a really good introductory course and there's an also optional part two of that subject so for the next semester which uh, we didn't take but a lot of guys took which uh, furthers your knowledge into the software the toughest course for me personally was CFD1 and continuum mechanics Same. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Multi-body dynamics was also hard, but actually CFD1 was by far and large the toughest exam that I've ever given in my life. And because I was so scared for that CFD2, I started studying one and a half, two months before the exam and studied every day, eight, seven, eight, ten hours. And that made CFD2 a lot easier than CFD1. And he did much, much better. <laughs> I did much better in CFD2, yes, that's true. But continuum mechanics also, I think it was more than 50% of the class failed the first time, right? Yeah. So the first exam was really, really bad and I barely passed and then I went to the professor and I asked him to fail me and he unfortunately did not agree to <laughs> my life choices and he told me that that uh, if you fail this time, the next time, there's no guarantee you will pass and then you'll have to do it a third time and that will be your final time and 
why do you want to do that so he basically blackmailed me into not failing the course this is why the videos are so long i agree we talk a lot but that's important information <laughs> Tensor Tensor was a really really hard exam also for me <laughs> because you take that <laughs> okay Tensor question 1 answer is the beginning of question 2 question 2 answer is the beginning of question 3 and question 4 is finally separate and if you screw up question 1 which i think like 20 25% of us did because i remember sitting there and watching you fail you fail you fail you fail i fail he fail she fail so <laughs> ultimately you did make one mistake initially somewhere and it's a lot of calculations so the probability of making a small mistake somewhere is very very high and then you basically fail the exam because ultimately it doesn't matter you don't get step marking you only get marking based on the results but i have to say a lot of the subjects don't grade like that so they yeah. will grade they don't grade just the final result they tensor was an exception exception yeah <laughs> so the others will grade uh, you, the process whether you show any sort of knowledge so it's not like okay if uh, the result isn't uh, isn't correct then your whole effort is wasted no but tensa was the first exam i ever failed and had to write again and it was really sad and hard work and I mean, yeah I, i went through that with continue <laughs> no one in germany gives a shit about such things because ultimately it doesn't show up in your note and speaker in your transcript that you failed so you can give an exam as many times as you want and i think 99% of the student at least repeat one exam yeah and still 70 75% of the students repeat two three four exams so ultimately it's not really bad to fail but you know you just have to work hard once again yeah. So, Yana, what electives did you have? <laughs> so, for my electives, I took um, okay, we mentioned already failure of structures. I had uh, manufacturing methods. So Oh, that was a hard exam. <laughs> That was a big exam, not really. Yeah, hard exactly. Exam, big exam. So I saw the textbooks and all the notes that they were carrying like So there's the one and two. I only took the first part. That was just the first. <laughs> So my whole uh, bachelor course was just production engineering, and I really love production. So I uh, chose this course. She uh, works in production and has production companies. And so uh, if you haven't done anything in production, it's a really interesting course and really basic course to cover all the manufacturing methods. She also did BMW production, so she she. I I would trust her. <laughs> also there's a core subject uh, called simulation manufacturing methods where you learn simulation in uh, manufacturing methods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to say in um for punching, pressing, for <laughs> <laughs> So useful subject and again sadly one that is only theoretical and no sort of uh software knowledge is incorporated so that's a shame and something maybe that uh uh the inter can work on <laughs> yeah yeah definitely uh i had also production management and quality management both important subjects for anyone pursuing a career in production or quality and, or quality so that that is a whole stand alone thing by its own so if you're if you want a job in quality you're not just going to make it only by studying quality management so you don't want a job in quality <laughs> <laughs> so um my advice would be to do also some extracurricular work surrounding that or do some sort of certificate so only the subject will not be enough okay, that's basically that's basically it that's our review of i think all we've subjects. covered pretty much whatever basically important subjects at yeah. least if you are forgetting something it was the not yeah, really yeah you can I, remind us and and we'll talk I mean, about it the yeah exactly we can at least give you some more information bye bye bye